It's a good question. So from the very beginning, when we first started, I made it clear to my vendors, I don't need your leads. We do not need your leads. We can sell, okay? So we're not gonna trade a relationship with you and then have to answer to you. We're not gonna trade a relationship with you for vendor leads so that we have to answer to you. We're gonna do what's best for the client always, no matter what. And I can tell you, man, it is amazing. To me. I've said this a million times, you read my blog, Vendor, a lot of vendors out there operate, operate like the mafia. I can tell you, I was at a major automation conference last year, and I had two separate meetings with sales representatives, and they made it very clear that you either sell our products, and you lead with our products and our products alone, and you don't put anybody else's logos on your website, or we're not gonna support you, period. And I said, well, what about the, the case, and I, I it was talking about IIoT, I said, well, we have a lot of customers who need MQTT from the edge. It's the best protocol out of the edge protocol into a, a unified architecture so that we can publish data within the enterprise and you don't have a solution for that. And he said, well, then I recommend you steer them to a solution we do have. He ultimately apologized because he need, we had $100,000 in hardware that we needed to sell and he wanted the sale. So in the end, I mean, it, it's crazy to me how they play hardball like that. The, many of the vendors out there are just, they don't, they don't care about what's best for the customer. They don't. They care about sales, period. Well, but that's not the market though. The market is, you know, you should be creating the best solutions. You don't leverage your space. You don't, you don't leverage your power in the market to make them buy something that they don't need when there's a, be where there's a better alternative in the market. That's not free market. Yeah. <clears throat> Very true.